This is another tip on datum displacement or shift. The concept is not well understood by many folks. Too many try to use it as a bonus tolerance, which is wrong. Maybe this tip will clear things up. Once folks have taken a course in geometric tolerancing, they usually have a pretty good understanding of what the maximum material condition modifier means after the tolerance. However, many, many people remain confused regarding the M, which stands for maximum material boundary, not max material condition, that you find sometimes after datum feature references like B and C. Datum feature A is the surface. Datum feature B is this boss. And datum feature C is that slot, which is stopping rotation. But for the point I want to make in this tip, we don't have to think about that. Let's take a look at datum feature B. What is its maximum material boundary? Well, it would be the largest that this boss can be plus its relationship back to A, or its perpendicularity, which happens to be zero at the largest size in this case, which makes the calculation easier. To understand, though, what this M after the B means or does, it often helps to imagine a hard gauge. First of all, to inspect the feature that has the position tolerance on it, I might have a sleeve that slides up and down. The size of the hole in that sleeve would be the largest that the boss can be, which would be 12 plus 0.2, then plus the geometric tolerance of 0.3. So if this boss comes in smaller, it'll be able to be out of position a little bit more, and that's what the M does for it. It gives us that bonus. Like I said, most people seem to have a pretty good grasp of that. But now, what does the max material boundary modifier after B mean? Well, it doesn't mean that you get more tolerance at the boss. What it does mean is that there's allowable shift at the datum feature. So we have datum feature A is sitting down on this surface, and here's your datum feature B. The way I have the part positioned in the gauge, the sleeve would not fit over the considered feature. However, because of the M after the B, I am allowed a datum shift. So datum feature B's maximum material boundary would be its largest size, 12.3, plus the zero perpendicularity tolerance. You can't leave that out. I know it's zero this time. Many times it isn't zero, and so you have to include that. That gives me the size of a hole that I might have in this gauge. The sleeve won't go over the considered feature if I keep datum feature B perfectly centered in this opening, in this hole. But I'm allowed to shift because the M was there. And if I shift the part over, now the sleeve can fit over the boss and the part would pass inspection. If you believe that this M gives you additional tolerance, positional tolerance, Let's say that this boss comes in at 12 or down at uh, 11.7. There's an extra 0.6 shift that you could have total here. If you treat that, though, as a bonus on this considered feature, not only are you saying it can move out of position more, but you're also saying that it could tip more because orientation is included within position, if you remember the GD&T hierarchy. In this case, that orientation is perpendicularity. So if you were to treat it as a bonus rather than a shift, that means this boss would be allowed to tip more just because the datum feature is smaller. And that would be flat out wrong. We all need to understand this concept because we all know that shift happens. I've even seen it on bumper stickers, although it's spelled wrong. I hope this clears it up. If it doesn't, give us a call, because at Techies, you know the GD&D rules. I'll see you next tip.